Let's turn now to that situation we've been keeping an eye on 250 miles above the Earth. Two astronauts who've been on the International Space Station since June on what was originally supposed to be a 10-day test flight of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Well, Boeing has expressed confidence in its spacecraft, but there's division within NASA. Our Gotti Schwartz has the very latest on what's expected to be decided very soon. A new update on the two astronauts still up in space. On Saturday, NASA leaders will hold a readiness review from the Johnson Space Center in Houston and are expected to announce a final decision on when astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams can finally return home. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. The pair launched into space in June on the first crewed test of Boeing's Starliner ship. It was supposed to be a 10 day mission, but helium leaks and issues with the propulsion system have left the craft and the crew docked at the International Space Station for more than two months. The main problem, thrusters that are needed for safe reentry. In a statement, NASA says that along with Boeing, they have gathered data both in space and on the ground regarding the Starliner spacecraft's propulsion and helium systems to better understand the ongoing technical challenges. Our big concern is um, having a successful deorbit burn, making sure that the prop system works just the way it needs to all the way through the deorbit burn. If a decision is made not to return Starliner to Earth with the astronauts on board, one potential scenario would involve sending the spacecraft back without its crew and leaving two of four seats open on an upcoming SpaceX flight to the space station that's already been pushed back from this month to next, so Wilmore and Williams could return with that team. But that would mean keeping them in space until February. We are humans, and this is hard on crew members and their families, and we take that into account. But again, as professional astronauts, they're prepared for this, and they're doing great. Welcome aboard the International Space Station first. Uh, it's a great place to be, a great place to live, a great place to work. Last month, the astronauts telling our Tom Costello they're confident in efforts to bring them back home safely. We've been thoroughly busy up here. They're working very hard on the ground to make sure that we uh, will be able to come home before too long.